The family of a moped rider killed in a DUI crash pleading for change. The now convicted driver who had a previous DUI could spend as little as six years in prison. Now they want to know why the man who killed their brother couldn't be charged with murder. It is a story the 8 News Now investigators have been looking into for months. Tonight, what we found in the case that's legally referred to as an accident. We do want to warn you the video you are about to see may be graphic. Andrew Rodriguez tells a police officer he accidentally just killed a man. It's my birthday weekend. Okay. And have you anything to drink tonight? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Two shots of tequila. Two shots of crazy. Rodriguez was in Las Vegas from Texas on this June evening to celebrate. Tonight wouldn't be his first DUI. He faced a similar charge in 2015. Put your feet together, arms out your side, okay? But now in June 2021, he had no license and was behind the wheel of this Lamborghini, a car rented to someone else. This is how a police officer reacted to seeing that mangled vehicle for the first time. Holy the crash site on Russell Road looked more like an explosion than a collision. Pieces of metal and human remains spread across several lanes of traffic. Police would later learn Rodriguez was driving drunk at 141 miles an hour before colliding with a moped. Riding on it was 58-year-old Walter Anderson, known as Jay. Just demolished. A human being. Joan Anderson Shelley and Antoinette Alderman are Anderson sisters. Their brother, a cook at Denny's, just driving home after his shift, was split in two. These markings show where police found pieces of his body. He's not a statistic. He wasn't an animal. He was a human being. A human being, a brother, a father, a son, killed in an instant. Who goes down one of our streets going 141 miles an hour in a 45? What did you think was going to happen? The sisters say they became concerned when they learned Jay didn't come to work the next day. By Monday afternoon, the coroner was asking for them to describe their brother's scars. At this point, okay, you're being placed under arrest for DUI. There are four victim speakers. Prosecutors later charged him with DUI resulting in death, the harshest penalty Nevada law allows. The statute carries a prison sentence of two to 20 years. Rodriguez took a plea deal, sending him to prison for at least six. He still gets to live in jail and he gets to eventually come out and be with his family. At a reckless speed like that, and DUI, it's murder. But the law says it's not. I equate somebody's choice to drive 140 miles an hour under the influence of alcohol to one of the highest levels of criminal behavior. Clark County District Attorney Steve Wolfson has tried to charge DUI drivers who kill a person on the road, who speed, and who drive with no care for another person's life with murder. This is a person who made a choice to drive this way. But the Nevada Supreme Court says that's illegal. A 2020 ruling striking down prosecutors' attempts in a case of a speeding, intoxicated driver who killed a man. The justice is writing, although malice may be inferred, Nevada has laws for cases of non-intentional vehicular homicide, and prosecutors may not charge defendants with second-degree murder for a death resulting from driving under the influence. Very sorry. Uh -oh. It was an accident. Andrew Rodriguez apologized to Anderson's family before going to prison for what is officially ruled an accident. An accident is going 50 miles an hour, 55 miles an hour in a 45 and hitting somebody. That's an accident. Demolishing, murdering someone is exactly what you did. It's just got to stop. But how does it stop? And who wants to step up to help stop it? That's the issue right there. The Anderson family hopes Nevada lawmakers either increase penalties or allow for deaths like Jay's to be classified as murder. He used a vehicle. That was his murder weapon. 
Andrew Rodriguez, who told police in that video that he has a young child, will be up for parole in six years. That is in 2028. A judge ordering him to have a device put on his car, preventing him from driving impaired for several years whenever he gets out of prison.